Welcome back readers and thank you for joining us for another virtual story time. We are still meeting in person at the library, but we're also posting here for those who do not feel comfortable joining us or physically can't join us on Thursdays and Fridays. But enough of that business stuff. Let's get on to the fun stuff. This week, we are getting into the Halloween spirit by reading tales about pumpkins. We have an extra story today as an apology too from Miss Sarah, but you'll find that out. So let's jump into today's tale. When Pumpkins Fly, written by Margaret Lawrence and illustrated by Amanda Sandlin and, Mar and Margaret Lawrence. Let's get started. On the last cargo plane to fly into our community before Halloween, there are boxes, crates, and bags of groceries, snowmobile parts, and mail. At the back of the cargo hold, there are also some passengers. They aren't wearing seatbelts to keep them from rolling around because the seats have been taken out of the plane. The passengers are heavy, hard, cold and orange. This is the time of year when pumpkins fly. After the pilots land the plane and open the doors, a truck pulls up. All the cargo is loaded onto the truck. Soon a pilot closes the door, the engines start, and the plane flies away. The cargo truck heads to the store before the groceries freeze. Our school principal has heard of the plane, has heard the plane fly overhead. She calls the store to speak with the manager. Please send some pumpkins to the school ASAP, she says. That means as soon as possible. When the pumpkins arrive, some older students help to bring a pumpkin to each of the classrooms. Look at our big orange guest. What kind of thing is a pumpkin? What are we do going to do with it? Some of you may already know about pumpkins. Each pumpkin is different. Would this pumpkin be funny, spooky, silly, or scary? When school is almost over, after we have carved a face on the pumpkin, eaten raw pumpkin ins insides and baked pumpkin seeds and cleaned up, the real excitement begins. Someone will get to take the pumpkin home with them and put it on their porch for Halloween night. We get ready to pick a name from our teacher's mug where we have put all of our names. The teacher pulls out a slip of paper and reads, my name. <gasps> I carry the pumpkin home carefully and place it on my porch steps. It gets dark soon after we get home from school. It's time to have tea and bannock and put on our boots, coats, and costumes. Light the candle in the pumpkin. Tonight's the night for trick-or-treat fun. There are kids, teens, elders, parents with babies and toddlers all out trick-or-treating. It's fun to go to every house. Our bags are full of candy. Our bags full of candy are heavy to carry when the wind is blowing hard. When we've collected all we can carry, we go home for more tea. Maybe we'll have candy, pork chops, fish, or goose soup to eat. We go to the community hall. There's a dance tonight for everybody, a costume parade, a costume contest. There are games to join in too.
after all the fun, we go home. It's very late and when we late when we get to sleep. As I drift off, I think about the two nut who live out on the land. Halloween is a night to think about these ancient and wise beings that like to visit our community. When the night is dark, the tunnet are awake. The wind blows harder and the candle in the pumpkin burns out. The pumpkin begins to change. It becomes wrinkled and shriveled. Then the pumpkin is frozen. Maybe foxes and ravens will come to eat it, or maybe snow will cover it. When the Tunat come to our community, they like to come at night. They go into and out of houses, the store, the school, anywhere. They are looking for things they need. Maybe, just maybe, Tunat will come tonight and carry the pumpkin away. Maybe Tunat will take the pumpkin with them back out on the land. But will it, what will the Tunat do with an old, old pumpkin? Time up. The end. Until pumpkins fly again. So this was about the in Inukitut. I'm sorry, I'm butchering that. Language and Taima is the end or Tunat. Tunat is a name for beings found around the community of Sanic Kilwak. There's a great little page here and obviously information about the author and illustrator. So thank you for joining us for When Pumpkins Fly by Margaret Lawrence and illustrated by Amanda Sandlin and Margaret Lawrence as well. Hope to see you very soon.